I'm all in. Nadia is all in. That's an eye opener for Justin. A boat. God, I'm so <laughs> terrible. Get us another loose cannon. Ah, uh -uh, Nadia stays. Cannon, ace six. Nadia is in late position with an ace. Raises to fifteen hundred. Action folds around to Jason, who's got ace jack. He calls. If Jason were playing a player he knew better or open light, he might re-raise with ace jack. The flop, ace six eight two pair for Nadia, top pair for Jason. Mercier checks. Nadia's got Jason in a nasty spot right now. If she plays it right, she should be able to win herself a big pot. The best way to do that would be to take a cue from Jason and start building. But in this case, a pot. Not a nice little castle. I don't know if Nadia's hesitation is going to help her or hurt her here, but Jason has definitely noticed it. She fires 2,600. Jason makes the call. The turn is the four clubs. Jason checks. That four changes nothing. I'm sure Nadia still thinks she's good. Let's see if she continues to try to build this pot. This time she fires 6,100. Jason calls. Jason's strong ace is going to be good here a lot of the time. It's not right now. Nadia fills up on the river. Jason checks. Nadia knows she's got this hand locked up. Right now she's got to figure out what the right size value bet is to get maximum action from Jason. Nadia fires 13,200. How much? That's a pretty decent value bet from Nadia. Looks like all kinds of alarms are going off in Jason's head. His hand is basically a bluff catcher at this point. He's having a seriously hard time letting go of this one. Jason calls. A boat. God, I'm so <laughs> terrible. My analysis says I think he regrets the way he played the hand. <laughs> nice hand. Thank you. Naughty on the button with pocket jacks. This could be trouble. Going for my first pot. <laughs> oh, no. So I have to try extra hard to defend this one? You don't want to pot yet? No. Of course. <laughs> Get re-raised. Alex is new. Nadia does re-raise to 4,800. Nadia's in a really bad spot right now. She's a four to one dog to Cata's Queens. Action folds back on over to Joe Cata. This is what they call a good old fashioned cold decking. And Joe calls. Cata just calls, wants to take a look at the flop. This is a move Nadia could make with aces, kings, ace, king. Eight deuce tray. Joe checks. Very bad flop for Nadia. Really nothing out there to help her get away from this. She bets 8,100. She has to think she has the best hand. Joe quickly calls. Cat is continuing to call. You can tell he's trying to feel out the amateur. She'd probably play aces or kings the same way. Seven of spades on the turn. Check by Joe. Nadia bets 15-6. Still nothing scary out there for either player through no real fault of her own. Nadia's painted herself into a corner. Joe quickly calls again. Board pairs on the river. Joe checks. With Kata calling down on every single street, Nadia probably doesn't love her hand anymore. Maybe she can stop the bleeding and check behind. I have checks. She does check. And she sees the bad news as Joe Cata wins his first pot. It's either bluffing jacks or ace king, so. I mean, not ace king, aces or kings, so. That one hurt Nadia's heart, not to mention her stack. Jack 10, off suit. 
Nadia raises to 1,400. No passive play from Nadia. She's taking matters into her own hands. Justin calls with a suited one gapper. Barry folds. So does Mercier. So does Joe. 7 10 King. Both hit middle pair. That's right. Justin's flop middle pair against the player is proven to be fairly aggressive. She leads out 2100. Justin calls quickly. I'm sure Nadia would have rather Justin just fold there. The turn, nine of spades. Justin's picked up a monster draw. It's unlikely he'll fold to any reasonable size bet. Maybe not even an unreasonable one. 5,100 is Nadia's bet. Open-ended straight flush draw. Bonomo calls. A lot of players would have raised there. Justin wants to peel off one last card. Which is the queen of clubs completing Nadia's straight. Nadia's got a straight, but it's not the nut straight. We'll see how much she bets here. She doesn't. She checks. Interesting move from the amateur. Justin's only got a pair of 10s, and he's missed all of his draws. He fires 14-5. 14, 14, Nadia is taking a moment. Bonomo has fired an overbet, more than the size of the pot. There is a bigger straight out there, but I can't imagine Nadia would fold. Come on, Len. Nadia is all in. That's an eye-opener for Justin. It's a look of genuine surprise from Justin. And a fold. Loose cannons aren't supposed to do that, by the way. I don't know if they told you in the rules. I was, I was gonna, <laughs> I was like actually thinking like that would be so awesome if she, if she checked shove. That's not what I was thinking actually. <laughs> Winning that pot once again gives Nadia a profit. Ace eight for Jason. Raises to 1400. Ace six suited for Joe Cata. On the button. Coming over the top to 5,200. 5, Kata knows from Jason's late position he could have been opening light. But how do you like this? Big slick for the loose cannon. Ace King can get pretty tricky after a raise and a re-raise, but Nadia's shown us she's not afraid to play with these guys. I mean, if they're all at a bar, who would be afraid of who? <laughs> oh. She calls. Now action back on Jason. Jason's checking out stack sizes. And Jason folds through the fortress. Are you coming from back? Cat a cold deck Nadia out of about 30K earlier in the week. Deuce King, 10, two clubs. Nadia's flop top pair. She checks. You can see Joe's drawing very thin. Joe is a pre flop raiser. Fires 8,200. Top pair, this continuation bet probably isn't going to make Nadia fold. She's working the chips. Joe's noticed the C bet hasn't worked. She smooth calls. With the three betting pre flop, the size of this pot is already getting quite big. Nadia's content just to call. Ten of spades on the turn. Nadia checks again. She may be trying to let Joe barrel again, but my gut says she doesn't love that 10. Ah, the Whirling Dervish check by Kata. Six of spades on the river. Kata's paired is six, but Nadia still has the best hand. She checks. So does Joe. Miss King. Kata loses another pot, but at least he didn't add insult to injury by trying to take it away on the river. Nadia, queen eight suited. Raise to 1,400. It's a bit of a loose raise from the cutoff, but guess what? Nadia's actually got herself an image at this point. Jason calls, 9-8 suited. So two to the flop, 10-10 ace. Check by Jason. See if she continues. She does, firing 3,000. And that gets the win. Ace deuce suited for the loose cannon, Nadia. She raises to 4,900. 
Cassidy calls. Hi. Hello. Oh, man, it's like twilight at the poker table. <laughs> Nine, ace, six. That ace could be real trouble for the loose cannon. She's out kicked. She did raise pre-flop, and now she's hit her ace. Let's see if she bets. She does, 7,700. Bella fires off a continuation bet. Let's see what Edward's going to do. This actually isn't a very easy decision. Naughty is an amateur. She could very easily have ace-king or ace-queen in this spot. Joe's got a big ace. It's going to be difficult for him to lay down. Plus, he just got to the table. He doesn't know how Nadia plays just yet. Joe does call. Whether or not he knows it, Joe's in a really good spot. The turn. And Joe's not in a good spot anymore. Deuce of diamonds gives Nadia two pair. Would you say Nadia hit her new moon? That said, I'm done. You promise? I swear. All right, the action is on Nadia. Well, now it's Nadia that has Joe in a really bad spot. She fires off 15-6. Nadia might be nervous playing a pot this big. If Joe's picking up on any of that discomfort, it may not work to his advantage. Joe comes along for the ride. Looks like Joe's sticking to his plan of wanting to see a showdown. The river, king of clubs. Let's see if Nadia still likes her hand and can keep the pressure on by firing off a value bet. Nadia bets 30,000. Cassidy calls. I have two pair. Just a little two pair. Just the best hand. Nadia wins a pot of 117,000. Welcome to the game. We forgot to warn you, Joe. Sorry about that. The loose cannon can play. Now they've all got the memo. Queen 10 suited for the loose cannon. There's been a raise and a call, but Nadia's getting four to one on her money. She calls. Bonomo folds. She is out of position, though, going into this flop. 10 king king. Barry's flop trip kings. It's a monster. Nadia first to act. She comes out firing, 3,100. Nadia's now got Barry's full attention, even though it doesn't look like it. Looks like Nadia's trying to protect her hand and maybe stop a bad turn card from coming out. But in doing so, she's bet into the razor and she's made a donk bet, which does leave her susceptible to being raised. Barry just calls. Barry's probably calling because he wants Joe Cassidy to stick around. However, Cassidy folds his gut shot straight draw. Barry's got Nadia in complete jail right now. The turn, queen of spades. Joe Cassidy would have made it straight. That's why I always turn away after I fold. Nadia's drunk dead at this point. She checks on over to Barry, who fires 6,000. Now, Nadia should know that if Barry has a king, she cannot improve. That's not stopping her. She calls. Obviously not putting Barry on a king. Deuce of clubs on the river. Six. Nadia checks. Barry's trying to think of a number here. They should call this kind of decision giving someone your phone number because you definitely want to get called. <laughs> he bets 15,000. Barry's bet on the turn set him up to make this bet on the river. Nadia's trying to figure out if this could be a bluff. She's invested almost 15,000 already in this pot. Her read on the flop was that Barry didn't have a king. She doesn't want to be outplayed. Let's see if she figures it out that she's beat. Mm. 
Nadia takes that phone number and throws it in the trash. <laughs> Another pocket pair for the loose cannon. Once again, Nadia is facing a raise with a pocket pair. We've yet to see her back down from her big hands. Doesn't look like she's starting now. Nope, she comes over the top to 7,000. Barry does call. And Joe folds. Nadia's ahead and has the lead, but Barry has position. The flop. Queen deuce tray, two hearts. Luckily for Nadia, this is a pretty decent flop for her, and Barry missed by a country mile. Nadia fires 9,500. See, there's that big bet I was talking about. And that gets Barry Greenstein to fold. Another pocket pair for Nadia Magnus? What's going on? Last time she re-raised the pocket tens. This time she's got jacks. See how she handles it. She just calls. You can see Nadia's changing gears a little bit. This time she does have position. Three hearts, queen nine seven. Jason's got second pair. Nadia has the best hand, and she's drawing to the only heart. Mercier checks. So does Nadia. Deuce of diamonds on the turn. Nadia may have checked because of the hearts or the straight jaw, but by checking, she's allowing Jason to try to catch up for free. Right after we got done touting that post-flop aggression. Jason bets 2,200. Nadia is the overwhelming favorite to win this hand, but because of the check on the flop, Jason might think his nines are good. Nadia calls. Nadia's playing very cautiously right now. The river, 10 of spades. Mercier checks. And Nadia checks and wins. Nadia may have missed a value bet on the end. Nice one. Thank you. Pair of queens for Nadia Magnus. How much can I make it? To pot it would be? 54. That got Danny's attention. 54. He's right. 54. Nadia re raises to 5,400. Danny's out of position, but Jack 10 suited is a hand that can connect in all kinds of ways. And he is playing against a less experienced player. Danny does call. 9 5 queen, two clubs on the flop. This is a flop that could get dicey. Nadia's flopped a set of queens. Danny's flopped an up and down straight draw. Danny checks over to Nadia. A decent sized bet here would protect her hand and help her extract value. <laughs> Nadia bets 8,000. Danny's got an open ended straight draw. If he knew how strong her hand was, he'd actually be more likely to call, knowing he could probably get her whole stack if he connects. I don't think he's going to fold. This is either a call or raise situation. It's just a call. This could be ugly for the loose cannon if Danny makes it straight. Seven of diamonds on the turn. Danny bricks. And checks. He also hasn't picked up any additional outs. It's also not a good card for Danny because if he hits his straight with an eight, it'll be harder for him to get action on it. it means his implied odds have dropped considerably. Nadia bets 20,000. She wants to win this pot right here. And Danny disgustedly folds. Nadia, big slick in the small blind. This is pretty interesting. With only 10 hands left, Nadia could fold her way to a $51,000 profit and eclipse Ernest for the passport. But we've yet to see her shy away from her big hands. She re-raises to 6,600. Justin Bonomo folds. Joe knows Nadia has a lot to lose at this point. Also probably knows because of that his ace-10 is not in great shape. And he folds. So now back to Alai. Now in a normal game, Danny might be getting the right odds to call and try to flop a deuce. But since we're near the end of the session, Nadia may rock up a bit on the flop and he may not get the action he wants even if he does flop a set.
Danny sticking around, he calls. He might be looking for a little revenge from that last hand. Queen 10, Queen. Pretty standard spot for most players to continue, but Nadia does have that stack to protect. Looks like she's not backing down at all. Look at this, she comes out firing 9,500. And Danny folds. Yeah! And the winner.